Um, you know, so that's the way it was. Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal finally make their way to WWF. Did you have a sense of excitement that finally this dream match was going to take place? Or what was the thought process with Hawk and Animal making their debut? Costing you the titles at SummerSlam. Well, exposing the facade under the ring. You know, we had no animosity against them. There again, I think that, um, and I think it's a pattern in a number of companies. You got this talent, you got this talent, you got this talent, and you don't know what to do with them. Uh, we had known and, and known those guys for a number of years. Barry's a close personal friend. I met him when they first started in Georgia. Uh, there was no chemistry in our matches. Mm -hmm. There was just, it just didn't work. And it wasn't because of them, it wasn't, it just, it did, didn't work. Business-wise, it was terrible. Yeah. They should have came in, they could have wrestled two years, they could have wrestled any tag team it was, we could have kept going, and finally somehow it could have stumbled where we, finally you know, clashed yeah. in and a then WrestleMania. It then it could have built and, you know, really been something It would have been a lot easier matches to work with if, you know, they're over and we're over. Yeah. And, us turning heel stupidly, yeah. and then them trying to be baby faces, which they weren't, because the people still liked us. It was, yeah, it was just a cluster. It was, I, I thought it was bad, bad business. You know, it's like I, I, I analyze. You remember when Flair came in? Yeah. And Flair's going to have these great matches with Hogan. <laughs> Finally, they stunk. And it wasn't because of Hogan. It wasn't because of Flair. It's the chemistry. They didn't work good together. Yeah. And I, I don't hear anybody talking about, man, what a terrific match Hogan and Flair had. And you'd think that you? would be. And Flair's had some, I mean, every match he has is unbelievable. Hogan, yeah. every match he has is unbelievable. But they have to throw it together. Man, this is going to be it. Wait a while. Wait a while. Almost as soon as Flair started working the house shows, they were all over the yeah. circuit. So, I mean, they didn't save that for a WrestleMania type show at the Hoosier Dome the next year. Yeah, it must have been a reason. It's just yeah. Sid was promised when he jumped from WCW to WWE. Um, and then Flair, they never expected to come in when he had that issue over the belt and so on and so forth. So I, my guess, that's, that's probably happening why. to some guys that are coming in now. You know, you're going to be our ace pitcher. Well, I thought you told him he's going to. No, he's going to. How many ace pitchers you got? You got seven ace pitchers. <laughs> right? Yeah. After the SummerSlam, they did the, we mentioned it earlier, the LOD, Ultimate Warrior, Six Mans. Then all kinds of crazy things started. You wore masks. You had different theme songs. What was going on with this? They were trying to kill us. Yeah, they were, you know. At that, uh, I think at that time, I, I had. Uh, that was at the time when you were just starting to leave. Yeah. And you were going to be an agent. Yeah. And then they made that, but. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live.